Let's start with chapter 11, Human Eye and Colorful World. So today I would be covering three Markle's question. So let's start with the question one. It says, Sushil went to an eye specialist for checkup. He prescribed him to use spectacle lens of 0.5D plus 0.5D power. Name the defect of vision he is suffering from. So it is hypermetropia. As you can see, the power is in positive. So it is hypermetropia. Therefore, he need to use convex lens for it. So in the second part, we need to find the focal length. So focal length is nothing but 1 over P. So 1 over 0.5 is positive 2. That means the focal length of the lens is positive, positive 2 meter. And thus he needs to correct his defect by convex lens. Moving on to next. It says state the function of pupil and ciliary muscles. So pupil basically helps in controlling the amount of light entering through eye and ciliary muscles help in accommodation of power of eye lens. So these are the two functions. Next question is a child sitting in a classroom is not able to read clearly the writing on the blackboard. Name the type of defect from which his eye is suffering. So it is myopia as the child is not able to see the blackboard clearly. So it is the defect myopia. With the help of ray diagram show how this defect can be remedied. So in this case you must draw the myopic eye first then make the correction for myopia. Like in this case in myopic eye the image is formed before retina. Now when he has placed a concave lens in front of the eye the image has been shifted to retina therefore he can see better so moving on to next it says what is meant by persistence of vision so persistence of vision is when we remove on a moving object scene its impression is persisted in our retina for 1 by 16 second only so Therefore, we have a persistence of vision like inability of human brain to perceive more than two images formed on the retina within interval of 1 16 second. 1, six, 1 over 16th of a second is called persistence of vision. In this case, both the images merge and give a sensation of continuity. So there is a problem like in human eye or human brain because we can't perceive two things within 1 over 16th of a second. So this is what persistence of vision is. Now next is explain how a normal human eye is able to distinctly the to see distinctly the object placed at a distance as well as those placed at a nearer distance. Why? Because as you know the ciliary muscles can change the curvature of eye lens or therefore it changes the focal length of the eye lens. When muscles are relaxed, lens become thin and distant objects are seen clearly. While seeing closer objects, muscle contract, ciliary muscles contract. This thicken the eye lens. Eye lens become thick and the focal length decreases. Therefore, the normal eye can see distant object and the nearer objects. Now, the second part, what is the far point? Far point of a normal human eye is infinity. Whereas the near point of normal human eye is 25 centimeter. Moving on to next. It says a person needs a length of power minus 2.5 diopter for correcting his vision. Name the defect of vision he is suffering from. Which lens will he be using for the correction? Also find the focal length of the lens. So here. The power given is minus 2.5 di diopter. That means the lens is concave lens. So now in this case we can find out f for it. So f will be 1 over p. That will be negative 1, point, 1 over 2.5. That is minus 40 centimeter. So it says which lens he will be using for the correction. It is concave lens. Also find the focal length. Focal length is minus 40 centimeter. Now moving on to next, it says an old person is unable to see clearly nearby object as well as distant object. What defect of vision is he suffering from? So this is press biopia 
as he is not able to see the nearby objects as well as distant object so what type of defect of vision is he suffering from second is what kind of lens will be required will be required to see clearly the nearby as well as distant objects so as you can see he cannot see nearby objects as well as far objects so he need a bifocal lens which consists of concave and convex lenses both so you have to write it properly in a sentence now moving on to next it says with the help of a diagram explain the formation of a rainbow in the sky so as you can see here this shows the water droplet the circle circular one is the water droplet and it acts as a small prism and when sunlight is incident on the raindrop it gets reflected back it gets refract or disperse the incident light now when it comes out it shows distortion the sunlight is now distorted and due to internal reflection within the raindrop we can see different colors that reach to the observer eye so that's how the rainbow is is seen in the nature now moving on to next it says state the cause of dispersion when white light enters a gla glass prism so as you know when white light passes through a prism it splits into different colors that is vibgyo or it is actually a spectrum so prism actually has different refractive index and these colors also have different wavelengths so therefore we have deviation within the spectrum like the first one we get is vibgyo then indigo then uh, blue then green then yellow or orange or red so the deviation is according to the wavelength the shortest wavelength comes out first and the largest wavelength comes out in the last because it is deviated least now moving on to next it says a person with a defective eye vision is unable to see the objects nearer than 1.5 meter he wants to read books at a distance of 30 cm that is he wants to read book at a distance of 30 cm that means my u is 30 cm so and v is it says that the objects nearer than so it will be 1.5 meter will be v now we can get the focal length of the lens by using mirror sorry by using lens formula that is 1 over v minus 1 over u equals 1 over f so as you can see they have worked out 1 over f so 1 over f is coming out to be 37.5 cm then we need to tell them which defect is this defect is hypermetropia we need to tell them power of the lens power will be 1 over f so 1 over f 1 over 37.5 cm convert it into meter so it will be 2.67 diopter so this is all about this question and ending this video with this question i will cover the next chapter in next video hope you like it thank you for watching this video